I've never really been blindfolded, so it's a new experience for me. But I think I'm excited about what comes next. Hey, my name is Emro. I'm a local guide level six from London. I love food very much, specifically burgers. There's something right in front of you. Can you feel it and try to identify what it is? Let's see here. They feel like chips. Soft, but nice and crispy, which is important. I'm going with chips. I will hold on to that decision. Oh, come on. I nailed it. Chips in London are fries in different parts of the world. I think fries are skinnier. Chips are a little bit cut thicker. They're so popular here that most of the time they will be fresh. I think that chips is one of the most important parts of any meal when you come to the city. It has to be a little bit soft, but it also has to be crispy on the edges. You can see soggy chips the minute you lift them, and that's when you have to put them back down and not eat them. Okay, this one's a little bit harder, a little bit thicker. You get a good piece here. They have the right London chips quality, which is nice. Soft on the inside, crispy on the outside. And this, I wouldn't say that this is as fresh as this. This is just soft outside, inside. But this got the perfect texture. When you bite into it, it's crispy fruits and then it just kind of melts. I think that this is from a chippery. This is store-bought. Okay, am I right in this? All right, there we go, I did nail that one. When the color is the same all over, especially on the edges, then you know that it's been frozen. Whereas with this one, see how there's a little bit of brown on some of the edges on this one? Machine gives you consistent sizes. Hand cut fries are not consistent. And that's the idea behind the perfect London chips. You have three different kinds of chips in front of you. See if you can identify which restaurant they're from. Which restaurant? Oh wow, these ones are huge. Okay, so the fries, the chips, and I would want to call these wedges. This is familiar. Burger King. I don't think I've ever had potatoes or wedges this big. But these are nice. Steakhouse, fish and chips, Burger King. That's gonna be my final. Okay. Okay, so it's a fish and chips place, which is good. At least I got that. Triple cooked chips from Red Street Kitchen by Gordon Ramsay. If this is genuinely done by Gordon Ramsay, then well done, because they really are that good. These are big chips from Hawksmoor. Hawksmoor's got a big name. It's not exactly the cheapest place in London. That's a bit of a disappointment. I mean, I thought they were Burger King fries for Burger King prices, so. Oh. The more I talked about London chips, the more I appreciate them. So I think part of the learning experience is just that I have something really special near me and I have to have more chips than two times a week, I think. Guess the dish. 